Hey, there you go. Happy Monday. And I, I hope I got the sound right this time because last week I didn't start off so good. But Dom's out there. I know you're watching, Dom. <laughs> Uh, he'll tell me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. As always, I'm your host, David Burrows. And happy Monday. Um, nice. If you're watching live today, boy, uh, what a nice day out there today. And, um, you know, summer's sort of over. Not quite. I don't know. I'm still able to ride my motorcycle. So that means summer's not quite over yet. But uh, I hope you're enjoying the weather and things that have been happening around town. It's uh, certainly interesting times still, for sure. And we um, we're getting closer to that that light at the tunnel or the end of the tunnel. It's just been a long tunnel or something like that, right? Somebody said that to me the other day, and I've I've stolen that punchline. Let's go to the comments out there and see who's saying hello. Yeah, there's my buddy Dom. Happy Monday, buddy. Happy Monday to you as well, Dom. Dom, I got to tell you, for those of you who don't know uh, Dom Fernandez, he's been a friend of mine for like 30 years. Uh, he's fighting a mess, and his story is an incredible story to share. Uh, he's even written a book, which uh, we'll have you back soon, Don. But you can check him out in my group or on uh, the, any of the music groups, Sarnia Rocks, etc. cetera. Um, he's currently at the hospital, Blue Water Health still, and he goes live regularly singing karaoke songs. And he puts out um, uh, votes on what song you'd like him to sing. I picked uh, Friends in Low Places for the next one, Dom. You can check out the votes in my group there as well. And uh, Dom, you and I are definitely uh, overdue for a visit. And Dom's been getting out. Uh, he did one at Refined Fool recently, and he's got another one at Refined Fool coming up in October. I'm sure we'll have him here uh, back for the week before that. Anybody else watching, be sure to say hello in the comments. Let us know how you're making out there. Uh, what are you doing to uh, keep busy? And, I mean, school's back, interestingly, right, you know, um, High school's different. College is different. It's still interesting times for sure. But um, that's one of the reasons our guests are going to be here uh, talking from Lampton Outreach coming up here in just a few moments. They're going to break the isolation, right? So stay tuned for that coming up. Um, I always like to go out and uh, say thanks to our supporters who have been supporting for a very long time here on the show. From day one, uh, AG Event Graphics uh, here on Signs SWO, a part of the uh, AG group. Uh, thanks to Guy and Kevin and all the staff down at AG Event Graphics for supporting us for just about 10 years. Coming up 10 years on the show, we'll be talking about a celebration we're gonna be having there in just a few moments. So thank you to them. Uh, our friends at Oswald's, they had a, a show and shine, a motorcycle show and shine um, a few weeks ago. I was glad to be able to be there. I got to do my first bur burnout on my motorcycle. Yes, I'm buying a new tire. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. There was about 300 motorcycles out there. And all in support of Sarnia Special Olympics. And a few days ago, uh, Art and Karen announced they raised just over $22,000 for Sarnia Special Olympics. Uh, thanks to the motorcycle community and so many people stepped up to be sponsors of trophies and helped uh, support the bands were out there and everything. And they thanked a whole lot of people, but I got to tell you, thanks to Oswald's and thanks to Art and Karen who have been pushing through this like everybody else in the pandemic. And they are still giving back into the community, which is fantastic. So you can give your support to them uh, by visiting their menu online at Oswald's. Dot com. Art and Karen, thank you so much. Uh, Hughes Intelligence, been great supporters here for a long time as well. And uh, we're going to be seeing them uh, regularly at the Sarnia Sting Games. They're going to be uh, providing some security and we're going to be working with them. Uh, well, you'll see see them making appearances uh, on my Facebook lives from the Sarnia Sting. So keep uh, an eye out for that. Uh, Active Ears Hearing Centers, Christine Fiji gives back to so many in this community. She's uh, amazing. Uh, she was at the uh, the show and shine for the motorcycles as well and made a very nice uh, donation. So thank you, Christine, for your support. And of course, Joe's Discount Tire, uh, been around for a few years supporting us here as well. And again, um, th they give back to several in the community, honestly, quite quietly. So uh, thanks uh, to all the supporters who come here on the show. Back to the comments to see what's going on there. Danny Cacciamiglio. Hey, Danny. Happy Monday. Back to you, sir. Um, I'm sure you'll be ready to get to a Sarnia Sting game as well, especially when the Sioux come around. Danny's originally from the Sioux, so we got a bit of a rivalry going on there. And uh, Barry Loxton's out there. Barry, how are you, buddy? 
Barry is a local photographer. If you don't know Barry, check him out in the You Gotta Love Sarnia um, uh, Facebook group and lots of great photographers in there. But uh, Barry, it's nice to see you, buddy. And he was out at the show in Shine taking lots of pictures. And he often gets out taking pictures of the uh, the sailboat races, which is cool. I actually have a drone video, Barry, that I, I took a few weeks ago of the sailboats. I got to get that online, too. Uh, who else we got out here? Carl, all the way. You're back in Oshawa now, right, Carl? Thanks for joining here today, Carl. Happy Monday to you. And uh, who else we got? Danny says, his daughter's sweet 16. Eva Marie. Well, happy birthday, Eva. Congratulations. Sweet 16. Boy, that's a special time in a person's life. 16 years old. Do you remember your 16th, Danny? Boy, I have a hard time. I have to go way back. <laughs> <laughs> but happy birthday to Eva on her 16th birthday. Matt Shelton. Oh, my goodness. Matt, you are, like, watching from far, far away. And I see you've got a live music. Tell us, tell everybody where you're watching from again, Matt. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen you, Matt, in 20 years, I bet you. Wow. Ooh, there's a flashback happening. <laughs> it was good time flashback. And, Danny, yeah, you barely, you barely remember that too. Yeah, well, it was probably close to as many years as me. Maybe not quite as long. Yeah, the last sailboat race is Wednesday, right, Barry? Okay, thanks for that. Yeah, all the way from Maple Ridge, BC. Matt, thank you so much for saying hello here today. It's so nice to, it's one of the great things about live streaming and being able to do this. Like, think about this for a minute. Could you imagine a pandemic with no video, no FaceTime, all you had is a rotary dial phone. <laughs> the long distance companies would be smiling for sure, but uh, let's just you know. And, and the reason I say that, I, like, I, I'm I'm going to get a little serious here for just a moment. Um, you know, so much has happened through all of this, and we could just there's, there's so many directions we could take this conversation, but it really seems to have brought out so much emotion in people. And not always good, right? And that's unfortunate because I've always been one to say, let's let's force ourselves, and it's really hard sometimes, to seek out the greatness in each other, right? And, and that's easy to do when you're 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 sitting in a room or you're around people that you like. It's easy to find greatness in people that we like, right? But here's the challenge: seek out the greatness in everyone, including the ones you don't really like. There's the challenge for you. That's tough to do because all this emotion that's come into and and we've we've certainly learned where uh, people we've maybe known for a long time were really surprised by their opinions and their reactions, and it's just really created a lot of tension, right? And it's it's tension that we don't really need. And I'm not new to saying you know let's find the silver lining. Always look on the bright side of life. All that stuff, all that positive stuff, right? But it's really hard to do sometimes. Um, but we really need to try to focus on that. And let's just stay as positive as we can. And that's going to be, again, our guests coming up here in just a moment. We're going to be talking about how to do some of that. Um, I saw it. Thanks for the shout out. Silver lining and everything you do. Oh, I just, I didn't even see that. Once you see it, embrace it. I guarantee it, you will embrace it back. Yes. Well, Dom, uh, who's been fighting MS for so many years now. Um, if you haven't got his book, um, we'll show you at the end of the show how you can get his book. And he talks about uh, his journey with MS. And uh, I was very proud to be asked to write the foreword for his book. So, um, and portions from that book goes to the MS Society as well. So, like seeing my first preferred towing truck. There you go, <laughs> Carl. All right. Okay, uh, just a reminder too, as well, uh, Rooster, uh, I haven't been able to get out there yet, but Rooster out on the Golden Mile, they've got lots of music. The Mudman, I think, played there over on the weekend, and they're planning more live entertainment and lots of local entertainment. And every Wednesday night, um, this is what you're doing on Wednesdays, they're saying, 6 to 9, there's an open mic jam. Even if you don't play, the musicians would probably like an audience, right? So get out there, and uh, they're going to have some food out there. Oswald's is going to be providing food coming up shortly out there as well, and there's lots happening. So check them out on Facebook, and uh, we're looking forward to getting out there and seeing them as well. Okay, let's move on. Let's get ready. The ladies are waiting, and uh, here we go. Let's welcome Laura and Amy from Lampton Elderly Outreach. Uh, thanks for being here, ladies. Thanks for having us. 
I appreciate your time here today. You kind of heard me. Uh, I don't know if it was a rant or just the preaching or whatever I was doing, yeah. but it's it's really it's it's kind of true to what you're going to talk to us about here is trying to get everything positive and uh, break the isolation. But uh, before we get into that, um, let's Laura, let's start with you. Tell everybody who you are and, and your role at Lantern or, or Leo. Yeah, so I've been with Leo for 12 years now. I am currently the manager of community support services there. Um, so I am in charge of basically all of our community um, services that we have out there. All right, perfect. And Amy, you've got a role there as well. I do have a role there. <laughs> I've been there just over one year now um, doing community engagement. And that position includes um, the Age Friendly Initiative as well, which you're a part of. Yes, right. And uh, uh, that's been an interesting journey along the way as well with Age Friendly Sarnia. And, um, and what you're going to talk about here. Um, all this adaptation, there's another word besides, you know, the C word and all the pan, the P word and everything else. The <laughs> adapting word is um, is one that comes up commonly as well. Has, has Leo been able to find ways to adapt to the, to the needs of the, the, those that you service? Yeah, Leo is constantly adapting to the continuously changing rules, regulations and services, requirements, the needs of our clients. Um, it's it's nonstop. It's just continuous. Yeah. Would you say you've pushed through it well, though? Like there had to be a lot of frustrations along the way. <laughs> yeah, it's been tough because, like you said, it, it's it's a lot of unknown, right? Like it's not something that um, anybody's really got experience in. And we so we, we're kind of learning as we go, um, which, which is good. <laughs> I think we're doing really yeah. well at it. We're certainly... Um, meeting the needs of our clients, which I think is the most important thing uh, right. that we can be doing. So, yeah. Very good. Well, I know you've got a, a, a great team down there that uh, likes to, uh, uh, well, be creative, I guess, is the other thing you would have to do. And that's part of what we're talking about here today, right, Amy? Yes, that's right. We're here to talk about our new winter campaign called Break the Isolation. And it's all about um awareness and reduction of feeling socially isolated because we know this pandemic has been hard mm -hmm. many of our programs have been cut through the community and there's just not a lot of ways to get involved right now yeah. um and and that can be very hard it can lead to you know health issues and depression and a risk of being very lonely so our whole campaign is is made up of a series of mini initiatives to help break that isolation and get people back in the community. And your one of your your well your service transportation being a big part of what you're providing, that's that's really um, a service like I think many of us daily take for granted, right? Like even if even if we don't have a car or a vehicle, we're, mm -hmm. there's many still capable of getting on a bus. But beyond that, this while well, the word isolation in there really is uh, uh, transportation is just so vital, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so j just on that note, actually, our transportation department is, um, well, all of our departments really um, haven't backed down at all since this pandemic has hit. We have been going uh, 110 for us, actually moving forward with all of our programs and all of our staff. So we're very, very grateful and very lucky to have such a dedicated staff with regards to our field staff, our administrative staff, of course, our management. Um, but uh, we're very, very grateful that um, we've been able to continue that and to continue to provide that service. Yeah. And actually even expand it, didn't you? Like did, as far as how far out you went to, to provide the service? Yes, we did. Um, so in the beginning of, of the pandemic, we were the only transportation service um, in southwestern Ontario that was providing transportation on a regular basis. Um, we, we did pull back on some of our services, not necessarily because we wanted to, but the demand was just so high for those medical appointments. That was our priority. Um, and then we partnered out with um, some of the smaller communities, Bruce County, um, Middlesex, Windsor, Chatham, Essex, that sort of thing to provide transportation to COVID suspect, COVID positive clients, because uh, again, there were no services that were doing that. So um, Leo stepped up to that plate as well and filled those voids as well. Yeah. And then there's uh, Domingos Fernandez is saying adapting the only way to go. Leo's great. They're very reliable. He says he uses you all the time. He does. I'm sure, I'm sure he lets you know who he is too. Well, it's funny <laughs> when, when I saw his comment, his name come up on your comments there. I said to Amy, that's one of our transportation clients. Right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, but that's that, that's just true testimony to uh, you know the service that you provide, and and beyond the service, there's really like you build a lot of relationships through the service as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> our uh, kind of in the same sense of the breaking the isolation, um, a lot of our clients, even though, you know, physically isolated doesn't necessarily mean they're out in the outskirts or they're in the rural areas, right? You can be yeah. right in the heart of Sarnia feeling isolated. Um, so it really does make a difference with that, those relationships that our, our drivers and our admin staff build with our clients, that five minute conversation on the phone to confirm a, a meal order or, you know, to take booking details, right. you know, kind of, kind of helps with that. And so, with that in mind, we kind of want to build on that and um, really, really, really break those walls of isolation for, for the people in Sarnia Lambton. Right. Well, let's talk about it more. You got the Break the Isolation campaign kickoff starting on October 1st. Amy, what can you tell us? Sure. So um, we would love to run through our, our initiatives mm -hmm. with you um, because they're starting on Friday and running through to January. And we have a lot of amazing community partners as well for each of these events. We couldn't do it all alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's lots of opportunity to team up. Um, but it's all about providing opportunities for people to connect to community, learn about resources, decrease that isolation, and just have fun. Um, so our first one is this Friday. And it is our campaign kickoff happening on National Seniors Day. Um, we'll have two events, mm -hmm. one in Petrolia at the YMCA and one at the Sarnia Strangway Center. So from 1 to 3 p.m., you can join us for music, ice cream to break <laughs> that isolation, <laughs> and find uh, and get a takeaway package of community supports and programming. Okay. What kind of things will we see in that package? <laughs> well, <laughs> lots of things. Yes. It's kind of a surprise. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. We're I've continuously building that, that package. It keeps actually we keep adding to it. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be a nice little takeaway for, for right. whoever shows so that. Lots, sure. lots of community support there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. great. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and, carry on, Amy. Yeah, <laughs> just a, a variety of programming that's happening in Sarnia Lampton. Um we're also, Leo is going to provide free transportation to anybody who wants to get out to that event. Uh, they can call us and we'll help arrange a ride for them to and from. Um, and this event, we're partnering with Sarna Strangway Center, Petrolia YMCA, and also the RBC Social Hub, who made a wonderful donation to us. And we wanted to make sure that ended up back in the community, benefiting people who need it. Um, so hopefully you'll post the registration details for us. Yeah, we'll post that all after the show on the on the Facebook. Comment. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. So that's our first first event. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about the next. Yeah, so so that'll be obviously the kickoff to the breaking the isolation campaign. Uh, from there, we'll be moving into our adopt a driveway snow shoveling. Um, this is an event that actually. Funny enough, Amy and I met a few years ago partnering on this when she was at the city. Okay. And uh, we, we started this, this was a pilot program at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so what's nice is to see how that's grown and how this relationship has grown <laughs> and, and, and uh, the professionalism here. But um, this is a, a service that is offered um, to seniors that um, may or may not be able to afford the service and require the service of keeping their driveways safe, obviously. Um, again, trying to prevent that barrier of isolation. If they're snowed in, they can't get out, they can't walk that driveway, you know, they're not going anywhere. So um, that's just another one of the initiatives that are involved with this. Mm -hmm. And I'll just add that City of Sarnia is a partner on that and um, are taking volunteers for that program. So what oh, we do um, with Leo and the city is we help match the volunteers with a client in need of a volunteer to shovel their snow. So any volunteerism, mm -hmm. it's great for high school students. You know, if you want, if you have a business, you want to sign up as a team or a family, mm -hmm. uh, lots of ways to get involved there. Okay. And could a student use this for uh, their community hours that they have Absolutely. to get? So Absolutely. So there's a win-win, right? That is, yes. And, and we'll provide the training as well, which will also count towards the volunteer mm -hmm. hours. Okay. Yes. Now, let me let me stop you there for just a second. You say training, okay. like, yes. you kind of think, well, like, how do you train me to shovel snow? But, um, <laughs> but seriously, there's, but there's some safety aspect to that, right? 
Yes, of course. Yeah, we want everyone to be safe. We'll provide the ice melter and snow shovels um, and safety vests yes. and then the training as well to make sure it's a successful winter. Now, and can I ask you too, like, obviously this is for people who really need the service. Mm -hmm. So there must be some kind of a process uh, uh, or a filter process on who yes. gets this service. Right. So, yeah. yeah, you do have to be over the age of 60 or right. a person with a disability and um, go through a means test. Right. So you should be financially in need. Right. Okay. I wanted to make that clear because I didn't want everybody going, oh, well, I hate shoveling snow, so let's get a hold of these guys. Right? You, know? you know, so. Uh, I'd be the first nice. one. <laughs> I, right. I can't get my kids to do it anymore, right? Yeah. You know, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Yeah. So um, then one of the other, one of our other um, little mini series would be the freeze out feelings of isolation. Um, and what this would be is a webinar. Um, that will be basically just kind of giving some information on mental health, the effects that mm -hmm. that has on social isolation and the techniques to help people feel supported. Um, you know, like I said, one of our, our biggest concerns is the mental health and um, the well-being of, and it's not just Leo clients. Let me just put that out there as well, Dave. This is open to all Sarnia Lambton residents. You do oh. not need to be a Leo client to participate in any of these mm -hmm. services. Um, our goal is to reach as many people as we can uh, at any age group, um, if you are feeling isolated, if you are feeling alone, that is what this campaign is is for. So that's um, that's really important. That I'm glad that you mentioned that's for everybody because uh, yeah. so many are affected by that. And again, imagine not like being able to have a webinar during this right. time. Like, how would we reach out to people? So we're fortunate to have these tools, and this is just another way you're uh, you're taking advantage of those tools to to reach out to everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, another event we're doing is called Icebreakers, and this one is nice. It's an intergenerational chat, um, and we're hoping to ha we'll have it at the library. We'll have hot chocolate and books, and we'll facilitate a chat about life. So from the perspective of a child versus a grandparent and anyone mm. in between mm. who wants to come. Um, That'll that bring some interesting conversations. Yeah, that's the that's hope. What we think. <laughs> yes. That's the hope, right? Yeah. That's the hope. Yes. Yeah, that's our yeah. goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when's and sorry, when's that happening? That's the uh, that's in November, right? Yes, that's in okay. in mid November. And as we approach each um, event, we'll be able to release full details mm -hmm. and take registrations at that time. Okay. But we just want to give. Uh, Kind of get everyone excited about what each of yeah. these events are about. And, and did we did we miss one there? Frozen in time storytelling. Yes, and then we have this one, um, and this is where we'll have a, a person interview an older adult and kind of get their glory days story. So a highlight oh, okay. of their life. Yes, we'll mm -hmm. elicit that through um, stories and advice, and that will be uh, videotaped and made into to clips that we'll yeah. be able to share once those are all done. And then our, we have also uh, Jerseys Across Generations photo contest. So we want to see how many generations in hockey jerseys you can fit into one picture. <laughs> we know that. Who's I, I got, whose idea was that? <laughs> <laughs> super fan. I, I just, I, Laura, Laura is a super Sarnia Sting fan, and um, she, she, and the kids are always there with you too. So I'm sure the yeah. kids will be excited for that one. Oh yes, yeah, definitely. Yes. We're 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 already planning our our generational um, jersey picture next week, actually. So nice, yeah, we're pretty excited. Awesome. And then to end the um, to end our campaign to go out with a big bang, we will be at the Sarnia Sting game uh, in the Chucka Puck actually participating in the Chuck about Puck event, and that's on January 2nd. So um, right after Christmas, um, depending on how things go, you know, we, we may be able to continue a little bit further into the, into the winter season, um, but that will be kind of the big bang to the end of our campaign. So we're really excited about that as well, of course. <laughs> this is, this uh, well, this is an exciting campaign. I mean, you've obviously, I mean, there's so much work that's gone into this and um, the, the community partners that are joining you with this are a, a huge part of making it successful, right? You know, and yeah, uh, and, and Sarnia Sting, big community partners in there as well. Um, yeah, and we're, uh, support. 
we are constantly having to adapt things, obviously, and having to change um, things from where it started to where we are right now. But uh, we are very passionate about this campaign. We are very excited about this campaign. So um, however we have to make it happen, Amy and I are continuously <laughs> adapting and making those changes so that we can have this campaign. Um, it, like I said, I think it's very important uh, for the mental health and well-being of our of our people of Sarnia Lambton. So mm -hmm. um, things may change here and there. And, you know, what we've got laid out today may not necessarily be where we are a month from now. We could be better. We could be able to be doing a little more in person, more um, interactive things. Um, so, you know, stay with us, stay on our Facebook, make sure you check our Facebook pages, check the Dave Burrow show, show obviously for updates as well. And um, we'll keep putting it out there, the information that we can as it comes in. Yeah, and uh, I know I, I got an email today, like uh, about all of this. So you you've sent this out to so many again community partners and okay. making people aware of this. Have you gotten any feedback yet, or is it too soon to tell? No, I, I have. I received probably ten emails back from mostly from our internal network, but just you know, I want to go to this event, sign <laughs> me up for that event. So it, it's really great. We even had a. Um, a sponsor come through for the Sarnia Sting Chuckapuck with EXP Realty. Nice. And uh, really, yeah. just a really Super great exciting. support so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think, part, sorry, yeah. go ahead. I was just going to say another major partner is the United Way. Yeah. Who also yeah. strive to create an inclusive community and opportunities for people of all ages. So this, they're a great supporter of this as well. Yeah, as they are to many. And uh, Dave Brown, as you know, Amy uh, stops here once a month and gives an update. And they're very transparent and, and they're very, uh, um, they, they, they definitely make sure that the dollars stay local here in Lambton County. So that's, uh, that's, that's right. always positive as well. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I would say, well, what's next after all of that? But that's the way that's like, boy, you've just really scheduled this out well in the timing. Yeah. Um, now, some of these things might require that uh, guidelines don't change, mm -hmm. I would think, right? Is there a plan B, C, D, or F or <laughs> in case mm -hmm. that happens? Always. Yeah, yeah. always. Yeah. 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 We've tried to plan them, you know, mostly virtual, you know, in person this Friday we can do. We know mm -hmm. that yeah. um, we can safely have up to 100 people outdoors and that's that's no problem. Um, and then for the other ones, they, they will be virtual because it's it's actually convenient, too, for yeah, a lot of right. people. Um, and then recording and being able to send it out as needed. Um, and then our other events are really, you know, interviewing and um, the photo contests. It's all done, you know, through email or mail. Yeah. But we hope if things stay open, we <laughs> can do more in person. Yeah, well, I think you've, you've done very well at putting this together and, and a lot of thoughts got into this. So congratulations on uh, getting it out there. I'm looking forward to seeing the success of this and uh, hopefully I can attend that webinar. And I, I'm I'm really going to try to get there for the ice cream, though. I got to tell you. <laughs> they got like vanilla and chocolate or is it? Yeah. Like, well, and you've got... You've got two hours, Dave, so you can hit up both locations. <laughs> right. There you go. I could probably do that. <laughs> Bring my kids. You know, there you go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I, I appreciate uh, you, you sharing this with me here today and everybody who's watching. And uh, more people will see this after the, the broadcast. And we'll share all the links uh, under our Facebook page and share them around. And uh, Fantastic. We're really excited for this. Uh, any final thoughts or words you want to put out there before I let you go? Yeah, if there's any questions or people want to sign up for different events, they can mm -hmm. they can call us or email us. You you showed our information there. Yep, yep. Um, or just call Leo main office. That's great too. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Laura, Amy, thank you so much, and uh, well, look forward to seeing you. Well, Laura, I'll, I'll see you at the next game probably. I will I'm see sure. you Friday night for sure. Right on, <laughs> Amy. I'll look forward to seeing you in person as well, and uh, we'll have you back again soon. Yes, Sounds thank good. you so much, Dave. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Uh, Laura Namey from uh, Leo, Lampton Elderly Outreach. Wow, what a fantastic way to, to uh, reach out and break the isolation. Certainly a lot of thoughts got in there, and uh, I know they're grateful to the many community partners that have joined them to make this uh, a great success, and I know it will be a success. One thing I can say about Sarnia, Sarnia Lampton, Lampton County, however you want to refer to it, when in time of need and this community just knows how to come together and support what just needs to be done and get her done. Right. So 
Uh, keep an eye on the Facebook page. I will be posting all the links again that uh, Laura and Amy talked about so you can uh, stay updated and get out and uh, get out to the ice cream. I'm telling you, I bet you that's going to go quick. Um, but thank you uh, to them both. And thanks to Leo for all they do in our community as well. All right. Well, this is going to be a short one, uh, but I want to say thanks once again. Uh, where did they go? I, here I am. I need to hire a producer, right? <laughs> There's all of our sponsors uh, who continue to support the show. And I'm grateful to each and every one of you who take the time to watch the show and uh, support me here on the show to keep it going. We're coming up on 10 years. And on November the 6th at the Sarnia Moose Lodge, we will be having a 10-year celebration. Um, so mark that down in your calendar and stay tuned for details on how, if you wish to, you can attend that and uh, some more of the details of what we'll be supporting that night as well. So uh, thanks to all of you. Once again, that's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend. I will see you next time right here on the shoe. Bye for now.